before I begin uh, with the presentation of the award uh, on behalf of Virginia Hall, I, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't think about the men and women, the Sentinels of Freedom who are serving abroad from both the intelligence community, from our special operations forces, and all the men and women of our armed forces who are abroad tonight. Thank you. A great thanks to Charles uh, Pink and the OSS Society for hosting this event. It's with deepest respect that I present this year's Virginia Hall Award. The shared history that binds the intelligence community and special operations forces echoes a legacy of quiet professionals. professionals. These professionals, both uniformed and civilian, rally around a common purpose, and that is to protect the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, both here and abroad. No one exemplifies this legacy more than Virginia Hall, a woman who overcame social barriers, physical barriers, and her fair, her fair share of prejudice to serve her country at any cost. We inducted her this year into the SOCOM Hall of Fame and to meet her family members and to hear their stories of what Virginia Hall did to serve our country, uh, as General uh, Hugo just talked about, are incredible. Following in her step footsteps is Shannon Kent, a dynamic intellect and linguist, a woman who also accepted no boundaries and broke the ones she encountered. She was a woman in SOF before there were women in SOF. She's a talented cryptologist and operator who, un who united our two communities, the intel community and the special operations community, with her courage and her sacrifice. A loving wife and mother, a fierce friend. Her work was recognized as a cryptologist of the year in 2010. And she continued to, to serve her country in incredible fashion in places where most people could never imagine being with missions that some of us will never get to learn about. Shannon gave up her life in a dusty corner in the wild frontier, fully engaged in our common pursuit, the safety and security of our families, friends and allies at the expense of her own life. We are honored to have Shannon's husband, Joe, a Green Beret and soft warrior himself with us tonight to receive this award on her behalf. Joe, if you join me on stage and thank you for always helping remind us of Shannon's sacrifice and never letting us forget her courage her character, and her will to succeed. First off, just let me thank everybody for being out here tonight and honoring Shannon. Um, she would be very humbled to uh, see all of you out here and, and to receive this accolade. So um, throughout her entire career, all she ever endeavored to do was serve on the, uh, the cutting edge, like all of us did. Um, so she'd be very honored to, uh, to have all of you here honoring her tonight. So I can't thank all of you, all of you enough. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs>